All right, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. I don't wanna waste your guys' time because time is money and I wanna get you guys farming and getting a lot of currency ASAP. This league, more than any other league that I know of in the history of PoE, it is the easiest for even the most casual player to earn decent currency. There is uh, Trial of the Ancestors itself, which as we know, you can cheese it with Void Sphere and just do that and make really good currency. There is Sanctum where you're gonna average at least five divines an hour just chain running Sanctums once you know how to do it and you have some decent relics. And honestly, with the current prices of everything, because there's so much currency in the market, people are buying stuff for a lot. And if you just farm for the right stuff that people are looking to buy, you can make a lot of currency. And so what I'm gonna show you guys today is just one instance of how you can make really good currency. In my example, I did make over 10 divines an hour. I got a little lucky, but not really lucky. And you could very easily, I think I'm probably pretty close to the expected value to get for what I farmed. But, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But I think your bare minimum, you're probably looking at about eight divines an hour minimum if you do the strategy. So what the strategy is, is we are based entirely around doing Elva and June, aka Betrayal. If you don't know those mechanics, I will link my guides on how to do it below in the description. I have this guide right here, Complete Betrayal Guide, that will walk you through everything. It'll give you a full walkthrough of exactly how Betrayal works. The crux of that is we're trying to sell Ashlings, which at time of recording on TFT, range depending on the time of day between three and five divines. In the evening of the United States, NA pricing, what me and my friends like to say, the price goes up to about five divines per. You will have to sell on TFT. If you don't know how to do that, look up Forbidden Trove, look up tutorials and all that. Or if you want an even simpler strategy, you can just sell Chronicles of Atswaddle. These are the temples from Elva. These temples sell for a ton. Locus of Corruption by itself right here, about 1.7 divines. If you get an Apex on top of that, maybe you get something else, maybe you get some other stuff, the price can go up a little bit if you get additional stuff. And then the other room is Doriani's Institute. This is 140 chaos by itself. And if you get both together, you're looking at about 1.9, 2.0 divine. That's all you got to do. <laughs> you got to run your maps, make temples and sell Ashlings. So how do we do that? So there are three main ways that you're going to do that. The simplest and the most obvious is to use master missions right here. If you have these missions, you can just click on it and you can guarantee you get that master in a map. You can only have one master per map, so you can't stack them or anything like that. The second way is to use compasses right here. You can buy these compasses for not very much. Eight to nine chaos for a four use compass. You can just buy four of those at a time. You can bulk buy them on TFT as well. You can buy just a bunch of those, you know, spend 90 chaos, buy 10 of these. Um, that will give you 40 maps in a row of guaranteed Elva in a map for just 90 chaos. And what you can do is you can actually put all four of them on your void stones and then run 16 maps in a row. And you'll just have that guaranteed. And if we look at the June ones, I imagine they're a little bit cheaper. Yep, the June ones are actually only seven chaos per. So very, very good prices. That's the second easiest way. Honestly, probably the easiest overall way just to force it, put it on the map. Third way, and this is what I kind of like this league because it is zero hassle, zero effort. It does require you to run more maps. You don't have a 100% chance of them to show up every single map, but we can use all hands right here which gives us a plus 40% chance. There's a 10% base. So a 50% chance to get a random master encounter every single map. And then what we can do is increase that chance by taking archaeology tour, covert stakeouts, perpetual search, and focus investigation right here. And if we take all of those, it will push out the chance to get Einhardt or Nico quite a bit. And there's a very good chance of getting June or Elva in any of your maps that you run. And that is kind of the core of it. <laughs> if that's all you need to know, just to force it, you know, that's all you need to know. The guides for Betrayal, the guide for Elva will be below. It's not really a complete guide for Elva. The short of it is if you see a room in a map, it rolls the full map at once. You can only see one room per map. You can only see a room of a certain type once per map. So if you see that room, you know, if you upgrade or you change into that room, you don't click on Elva. If you click on Elva, it'll lock in that encounter. So skip the rest of the map, get her in the next map, and then you have an additional chance to roll that uh, room again in the next map. You're going for Locus of Corruption and you're going for Dorian's Institute. And you're trying to get those to level three and you can sell those for good currency. The number one thing to get for Betrayal is you want Ashling right here, at level three in research. And then you want to kill Katarina and you can sell that for four to five divines on TFT. The other thing is you can level up dudes in Intervention and you can get winged scarabs from the Katarina encounter as well, which is great. And then the other thing is Verici in research. You can sell 50 chaos per, you know, this is all the time of recording. 50 chaos per uh, white socket on TFT or Hillock in fortification and transportation uh, for 30% weapon or armor quality for one divine each as well. And those are the big ones. The rest of the strategy right here is we're blocking a lot of content. We like to use Delirium with the upgraded Deli Orb chance as well. Deli Orb sell for really good currency at time of recording. 
Then we're taking all of the Essence nodes because Essence is self really, really well right now. You can sell these very quickly on TFT. And then we're taking the chance for additional Guardian, Conquer, and Synth maps. And that is it. That's the whole thing. And then with the extra nodes, I took Shrine stuff for quality life. That's the whole thing. This tree will be linked below. And then the rest of it is Elk and Go with the one investment that I did is I clicked on Essence right here. So two chaos per map, just to have two additional Essences per map. And then that's it. So I did no Sextants. I did no Scarabs, nothing like that. So you can get even more currency by forcing it with Sextants. I firmly believe, you know, having a 100% chance of getting the master that you want. I think more consistently will be June just because Ashling sells so well with all the additional stuff. I think you can get more currency with June, but Elva is just simpler and easier because you can just sell those on the market. You don't have to go to TFT or anything like that. Don't have to kill Katarina. For my profits, I ran for three and a half hours. I ran 70 maps. I averaged three minutes per map, but that's counting everything. That's counting rolling the maps. That's counting, you know, running the map. That's counting, you know, going to the bathroom, talking to Twitch chat. We did some gambles, like people came in and, you know, they want to do apothecary gambles, stuff like that. I did it all live on stream. I'll link the VOD below if you want to watch me do it. It's all there. This is the thing is like, it took me three and a half hours. The key to take away though is in 70 maps, I got 37 divines of profit. You know, and this is a little over 10 divines per hour. Most important to run your maps quickly is having a really good loot filter. I'll have that linked below in the description as well. You want to not see crap on the ground. You don't want to see random like, oh, here's two alterations. Here's whatever. And, and in fact, my loot filter is not as tuned as I would like it to be but it's way better than any, you know, very strict that you're running from Neversync. Besides that, essences, you want to corrupt to the purple ones. So if you see Scorn, Envy, Misery, or Dread, Meds, you want to corrupt them, and then you can get one of these guys, and then these guys sell for really good currency, and you can bulk sell them for a lot. We're also running Red Altars. We're using Searing Exarch just because it's faster and has consistent returns. Chaos Orbs, as well as Raw Awakened Sextants, which sell for really good currency. 40 Awakened Sextants is one Divine, so almost one Divine just from those right there. And then because we ran 70 maps, we also got two of these, which is 2.4 more Divines. We did get one Cortex map drop, which is a little lucky, but even if we take that off, we're still over 10 Divines an hour. I sold two Ashlings for eight Divines. I had one raw Divine drop, one Divine in 70 maps. That's not too bad. And we got three Locus of Corruptions and two Doriani. You know, this is 1.7 times three, and then this is about like 2.2 Divines right there. And then if you want the total breakdown of what I got right here, Nine Divines, two Incandescent Invitations, Cortex, Awakened Sextants, almost a Divine, seven Divines worth of Essences. These sell very, very easily. You can sell them through PoE stack on TFT. Very easy to bulk sell. Invitations, 2.8 Divines right here. We got those as well as a Twisted Invitation somewhere in here. Uniques, we got two Cinder Swallows. They'll sell pretty well. Some Decent Scarabs, we got that from Betrayal and then the rest of the stuff. So even if we take off all the rest of the stuff that might be a little bit tricky to sell, we still have some like really low hanging fruit that's really easy to sell, really easy to go. And you know, you're looking at really good returns. That's it. I don't think I need to harp on anything else. The key is run your maps efficiently and well, have a good loot filter, um, have a good Atlas, have a focus strategy and just blast maps and have a good time. The example here, this is running with no sextants, no scarabs. This is just all hands. And you can make this much just with all hands and blasting your maps very quickly. If you just add in those sextants and you force having June or Elva on every single map, you're going to get much more currency, actually, because you're just guaranteed to get every map. You know, I was only getting them less than 50% of the time because I also got some uh, Einhars and some Nikos as well. Just have a relatively strong build that can run maps. You don't even need like a crazy strong build. You can do this in T14 maps. I just, I, I keep seeing comments from people saying, hey... I have seven divines um, and, and I want to have a good build and I want to play a fun build. Is, is there any good bossing builds for seven divines? And just like, if you know how to make 10 divines in one hour of play, there's just no reason, right? Even with your league starter, even if you cut everything in half and we go down to five divines per hour, this person can go from seven divines to 20 divines in just a couple hours. I don't care. Run Tota, run Sanctum, do something, but there's no reason to limit yourself to five, 10, 15 divines right now. And the big thing is because there's so much inflation in the market at the moment, you are really limiting yourself in what you can do because, you know, if you want to buy any crafting materials or anything to put, uh, you know, to put your build together, the price just goes up quite a bit because everyone is so flush with cash right now. You have to get yourself on the same level as everyone else. I just want to show you how easy it is to run these maps. The VOD, the Atlas, everything is linked below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.